So Kristen and I are in Paris, France for our honeymoon. We got married. So we actually got here yesterday and we had pretty severe jet lag. So really we went out at night, we saw the Eiffel Tower, we rode the subway, just kind of walked around and got a vibe. It's really nice. It's like a like a nicer New York City. What hit me a break? I'm so hungry and thirsty. Like yeah. I eat for energy. I don't have any energy to go up there. So today is basically like an aimless walking around day. We went through Montmartre and we ate at a restaurant that might have been the best meal we've ever ate. It's so good. So good. So now we're gonna do something that's always kind of fascinated me. There's a really famous cemetery here and Jim Morrison's grave is located there. We're gonna try to find it. Shopping hat on. So it's about 5:30 a.m. We're headed to the train station. It's super quiet right now. We're about to do probably my favorite thing we're gonna do all trip. It's called Mont Saint Michel and it's in Normandy. So one thing that has been really nice for me is that the transit here has been really good and really easy to understand. And we're about to take the, uh, the bullet train to Normandy, which I'm really excited. Like ever since I was a kid, I've had a fascination with trains. Okay, so we're here. It's a little rainy, and that might be a little bit less than ideal. He, our tour guide moved the time back a little bit, but we're still gonna try to walk around the bay. We had just gotten to Mont Saint Michel, and it was pouring rain. It's cleared up pretty nicely now. We're about to go on our tour. But we were like, okay, we've got some time, like let's go somewhere to eat. So we walk in the first restaurant and like you can tell it's a pretty expensive place. So we're both gonna just both get appetizers and we get a salmon salad. And in the middle of eating, Kristen's like, you know these salads are 55 euros each. I thought I was about to be have the most expensive meal I've ever had. It ended up being less, but Kristen almost had me bamboozled. We just met our guide and got a little bit of intro to things. We also got our boots. I'm really excited. It's cleared up nicely. Why didn't we dress more like hiking with nature? I know, Kristen's all fashion. Okay, so day three, this is our final full day in France. It's really sad, I'm getting a little bit sick, but today we are going to see the Chateau of Versailles. So it's about an hour from our hotel. It's pretty exciting, we're running a little bit late. 
tell them what your biggest frustration is so far with France. I hate Avion water. There was a point where I'd go to Central Market and buy it and be like, oh, I'm French, but I've never liked it. Kristen's very sensitive to water. No, she needs a very specific... No, I just need... <laughs> I just need plain and simple Ozarka, Texas Ozarka, or Good Poland old Ozarka. Springs. So yeah, that's her frustration. Mine is every sandwich comes with mayonnaise, and I just hate mayonnaise. Subway in Paris versus Subway in New York. The Subway in Paris is a lot cleaner and a lot more organized. We haven't got lost once. And it's not sketchy at all. basically said she wants our house one day to be modeled after Versailles. Inspired by. Yeah. Modeled. She likes the feathers. The feathers and the marble and the gold. It's a little gaudy for my taste. Can I show you guys what I got? I got like all these tassels. <laughs> Tell them what you told me. I need to make a list of things I like about France, but I've discovered that pink toilet paper exists and it's a thing here. It's like common here. So it's purple toilet paper. <sighs> Anything pink. Anything pink. So for the, we're, for the gram. So if you come to our house, it's gonna be pink. <laughs> What's the quality like? Yeah, and it's also like really cheap. It's like single ply. It's not even like Charmin or anything nice. But hey, you're gonna bump into someone. Okay. So the last thing we had to do while we were here is eat at McDonald's in France because they have a completely different menu. It's actually kind of fancy. And I got the blue cheese and bacon signature. I can't get this open. Blue cheese and bacon signature burger. Looks pretty good.